good morning guys happy sunday welcome back to another vlog today's video is going to be like a sunday in my life i'm going to show you guys kind of my reset routine a little bit of self-care i'm going to definitely get stuff done today still it's like my productivity day i have to do laundry and i'll also show you guys how i plan and prep for the new week so it should be a good vlog but right now i am parked outside of yoga lab i'm about to go in and do my vinyasa slow yoga for the week i've been trying to take a vinyasa slow class once a week and it works out perfect that it's on Sundays because it's after I've done like my regular workouts for the week so at this point I just need something a little bit lighter um, so let's go do our Sunday yoga I'm back home now here's my yoga stats I'm so glad I went I always feel so good after yoga even though I look like a hot mess right now but seriously I always feel like a changed woman when I walk out of yoga especially the vinyasa slow it's very mindful lots of core it's a good workout but it's also like good for the mind I'm about to make my breakfast slash brunch I ended up eating a protein bar before I went in this morning so this is kind of gonna be like a brunch I guess it's already after 11 30 I was gonna make an egg and do like avocado toast with it but I'm just like craving my new sleep breakfast. I showed you guys how to make this in my last vlog. This is a breakfast from Jess Hutchins and her program that I'm doing and it is so good. Like I'm just obsessed with it. It's yummy and healthy and I just want it. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I just got out of the shower and once a week I like to use this instant oatmeal mask by First Aid Beauty. It's only a 10 minute mask and it makes my skin feel super fresh so I've been trying to use it once a week on the weekends. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this and let it sit for about 10 minutes. While this is sitting on my face for the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and get my laundry started. I've not done laundry all week and I went through so much laundry that today when I went to go to yoga, I had to wear two things. Like it's not like I completely ran out of workout clothes, but it was bad because I had to like put two things together that I wouldn't normally put together um, that didn't really match the best, but it was fine. it's now 1 p.m. and I actually put some makeup on I just threw my hair back because I'm just gonna be home for the rest of the day so I didn't really think I needed to do it or put any unnecessary heat on it um, I did go ahead and get dressed just because getting dressed sometimes makes me more productive and I do still have stuff I want to get done today but before we get started with our day I want to show you guys some new gold jewelry that's from a small business that I actually worked with a long time ago and I've purchased with my own money from this shop before but she did send me these pieces and I told her that I would mention it on my YouTube channel because she's such a sweet girl the owner is a young business owner like myself and her jewelry is such good quality she is an Etsy shop and she also has her own business like website so I'm gonna send you guys to the website if you want to check this out and I also have a discount code for you guys so the first thing are these really beautiful medallion necklaces they're on like a uh, paperclip chain and here's what they look like they're just so pretty and they're stackable so one's long one short I think you can buy these individually or as a set but they look really pretty together so I went ahead and got the set and then the other thing are these really pretty earrings don't mind got a little pimple going on there and I know it's from wearing a mask I just you know the mask the mask knee I'm sure you guys are getting that too um but anyway earrings are so cute they're very lightweight thick and chunky such a good everyday hoop they actually remind me of the ones that I sell at Sun Bunny they're like 
pretty much the exact same size so it's always good to have an extra pair of these and then the other one you guys are gonna love it's like a really thick chain so this is what it looks like it's that paper clip style but like extra large and this is a choker so beautiful the quality is amazing it's 18k gold filled so you don't ever have to worry about anything tarnishing i have several of her pieces from like literally almost a year ago now that i worked with her and all of them are still in perfect condition i wear them all the time in fact they're one of the things that i get most asked about uh, are the pieces of jewelry that i got from her shop so if you guys want to go support her small business you can use my discount code melissa and you'll get 15 percent off your order so many cute pieces to choose from and the owner again is young and sweet and I just being a small business owner myself it makes me feel good to purchase from her and to promote her so make sure you check it out folding laundry and I have my iPad here and I also have Google Calendar pulled up on my computer and I'm basically going to walk you guys through how I plan out my week using my digital planner from 7design co which I will also have linked in the description and yeah I've been having a lot of fun spending Sundays just prepping out the week planning out like which days I'm going to do workouts if I have any appointments to-do lists just all of that stuff and it's really nice just doing it digitally. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is pull up Google Calendar because this is kind of what I use throughout the week just to plan things so that it's easy and accessible from my phone. So if I have any appointments like dentist appointment, doctor appointment, um, or something for Trooper, like these are the kind of things that I will put into Google Calendar so that I can just pull it up on my phone and then I go into my digital planner on my iPad and I add those in from there. But that way any like main events or something, I know like my schedule just from pulling up my phone. So this is a little preview of what last week kind of looked like for me So I use the daily life planner the colorful one and this is completely clickable as I showed you guys And then it comes with a sticker page So you're able to use all of these stickers It kind of makes it fun and it's also nice to like write your goals down or little reminders um, I put one for whenever uh, the Sun Bunny inventory dropped last week and yeah My sister was supposed to come this past weekend, but that didn't happen So she's probably coming next weekend. But anyway, this is kind of like a preview of what it looks like I really quick this is completely beside the point of this video but I want to show you guys how to use the sticker pages if you've already purchased the planner because there were a few questions about using the sticker pages so when you open up your planner into GoodNotes you're also going to open up the GoodNotes file for the sticker page they also come as separate PNG images if you want to use them in a separate uh, note-taking app or something like that but for good notes I already have them pre-cropped on this page and it makes it really easy if you just keep it in a separate tab and all you have to do to use the stickers is select the lasso tool and then you just go ahead and lasso it and click it press copy and then you go over here and then you're just going to hold it and paste it and from here you're able to resize it and put it wherever you want and then you can write on it so it's specifically perfect for good notes because i went through and formatted all of these so that they're already cropped with a transparent background you don't have to use the screenshot method it makes it a lot more clean and cohesive for your planner so i just wanted to show you guys that because i know some people were having questions that did purchase the planner but let's get started so i'm going to go ahead and start a fresh week and here we are let's get started
Okay, so here is what my layout looks like for this week. I love how this turned out. I really like incorporating lots of colors, but there is also a neutral version of this planner if you definitely want something more toned down and all of the stickers are also neutral to go with it. But I've been really into color this year, as you guys can tell. I've been introducing color into my wardrobe and then of course into my office. I don't know, I guess this is gonna be a year of color for me. <laughs> But anyways, so I just went through and I like using the stickers for like big reminders, like I need to work on my quarter four taxes tomorrow. And then um, I have to finish up the seven design student planner this week. Hopefully, I'm really, really hoping I can get it done this week um, so that it can go live early February because I know a lot of you guys are waiting for it. And then I have an eyebrow appointment uh, this Thursday that was supposed to be last week, I thought, but I was wrong. Um, so it's this Thursday. I'm actually going to be getting my eyebrows laminated, and I'm so excited. I will definitely talk about that whole experience. And then I think my sister's coming this weekend, so that's also like tentative right now. And then on this side, I really like the fact that this planner has a tasks spot. So this is where I can kind of keep track of my to-do list and I'll be able to add to this as well. Um, and then a little reminder, I also put drink water because, oh my gosh, I need to drink water. <laughs> I've been like getting about half of my water intake for the day, which is half a gallon. And I've been doing about half of that, so a quarter gallon, but I need to up that because it's my requirement. And then I put this cute little note here because we're gonna crush this week. Guys, I had three different loungewear sets hit the store this past Friday for our first drop of 2021 because I love loungewear sets. And every time I've dropped a loungewear set, you guys love it too. And it's one of the most frequently like requested items that I bring back every time is more loungewear sets. So I just wanna show you guys a few of the ones that I have right now because I am doing a sale from now until midnight and this vlog is going to go up before midnight so if you're seeing this now there's probably still time you should go and shop this sale I posted about it on the Instagram page but I'm doing 15% off all loungewear sets including the ones from previously that I have left but also all of the new ones that just dropped on Friday so go check it out the first one is this one and it's a super cute tie-dye matching sweat set and it has like, like almost that inside out looking hem it has pockets super cozy and this is called the keep it casual set i will link all of the ones that i'm talking about below oh and if you haven't noticed this vlog being a little different i started filming this vlog on the canon m6 which is my old vlogging camera um because i was just going to be home all day today and i thought i might as well use this for the sake of the better quality and the wider lens so i know it's better quality but i prefer the g7x if i'm going to be like going out vlogging this next one is the cotton candy loungewear set and I also love this one so much. It's just like a bunch of colors, tie-dye, super pretty. It has an elastic waistband and I like that the shorts are actually like a midi length so they're not super short. You don't have to worry about your booty hanging out and just really comfortable. And then this one is the Abby loungewear set and this one is probably my personal favorite. It is just so cute and comfortable. I love the neutral color of it. I feel like people would get the most wear out of this one. I also really like the fact that this ribbed shirt is like a full length shirt. I like to tuck it in because I just think it looks cuter, but you could totally just wear this shirt with jeans and kind of doubles as just like a regular shirt you could wear, but then also with the set, it's like loungewear. So this is very, very cute. I was wearing a small in all three pieces just for your reference. And again, go use that discount code. It's matching sets now through midnight, 15% off. You can never have enough loungewear sets. Okay guys, it's a little bit later and I got my BoxyCharm in the mail. So I thought I would just do an unboxing as as part of this vlog. I'm very excited. One of the things that I wanted to do this year was join some kind of a subscription for makeup and stuff again because I miss like my passion for makeup. Not that I'm a beauty guru, but I do love makeup and skincare and playing around and trying new products. So I thought it'd be really fun to join one again. I used to do the Ipsy Glam bag years ago. Pretty sure everybody did. <laughs> um, but this time around, I decided to do BoxyCharm because I wanted to get full size products because I feel like with the samples, it's a good way to test things, but then if you really like something, you have to go and buy the full size. Whereas with this, I get the full size of everything. And if I don't like it or if it's something that I don't want or I already have, um, I'm gonna just save it for a giveaway that I'm planning for you guys when I hit 100K. So it's also a good way to kind of gather some products for that. So anyway, 
I already opened it up and took a look at the products, but I want to share them with you guys. This is like a really exciting box this month. So this is the BoxyCharm Fresh Start for January. And here are the products. So the thing that I'm most excited about is the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. I am such a huge fan of Pharmacy and all of their products. Right now I use their cleansing balm every day to remove my makeup and it's one of my favorite things in the world. So now I'm gonna get to try this gel moisturizer, which is awesome. I love moisturizer, so that's awesome. Full size, which just literally pays for itself. I mean, when you think about the cost of the box. And then I also got the Dr. Brandt Triple Peptide Eye Cream. So any kind of eye cream is good because I have bags under my eyes. I have concealer on right now, but when I don't, it's pretty bad. So I think it's really good to apply an eye cream every night. I already do, but now I'll have an extra one for when I run out of the current one I use, which is like just the Sephora brand, I think is what I'm using right now. And then this I actually haven't even opened yet, so I don't know what the colors look like, but this is the... Uh, I do not know how to say that. I'm going to end up saying it wrong, but I recognize this brand. Um, but it's the Velvet Palette. So let's see what this looks like. A really mauve colored packaging. And then, oh my gosh, such pretty colors. Just what I need. Another eyeshadow palette. I swear, you guys, I have so many eyeshadow palettes. But look how pretty these are. Gorgeous colors. How are we going to try this out tomorrow? And then they sent the Ace Beauty Bronzed in Paradise Palette. And this has four different bronzers which is awesome because it's literally like tanning season again for me so I want to be a bronzed goddess so I can't wait to try that and then this is actually something I was also really excited about this box honestly had everything that I would have wanted um this is the Bali Balm in Sweet Orange and Coconut it's just a lip balm but I am so obsessed with um lip balms like I just constantly feel like I need my lips to be moisturized especially because it's been really cold in Florida lately, which makes my lips even drier. Awesome, and it's like a little tube sort of thing, not like a regular lip balm, like a chapstick or whatever, it's in a tube. So that's exciting. So that's everything I got in my BoxyCharm. Let me know if you guys want me to do monthly BoxyCharm unboxes. I'm probably gonna continue my subscription for a few more months until I end up with a box that I'm not happy with and maybe I'll cancel, or if I just feel like I do not need any more products. But as of right now, like this box was awesome. All stuff I'm really excited to try, so I think it's so fun doing like a subscription like this. Anyway, I will leave um, a link for BoxyCharm in the description. Not sponsored by them at all, but if you guys sign up with my link, you'll get 25% off, and I think they give me something too. I don't know if I get like a free box or how that works, but you'll get 25% off, and I will also get something out of it. I don't know what they give the person who refers people, but it's really fun. I mean, obviously, full-size products, brands that like you find at Sephora that are like expensive and you wanna try. So, it's pretty cool. Anyways, let's go make dinner. Your girl is starving. Of course, before I can eat, I have to feed my children. And I got Trooper this new slow feeder bowl off of Amazon. We already had a slow feeder bowl for him that we've been using forever. But I just feel like it's not working well enough. Um, he just eats so fast. So I got this one that's shaped like a spiral and I'm really hoping that it's gonna slow his eating down. So I'm gonna wash this really quick and then we're gonna feed the dogs. the terrible lighting in here that's my kitchen for you but I'm about to make dinner right now and tonight I am going to show you guys how I make chicken pesto zucchini pasta this dish is so freaking good and so healthy and I actually learned it from Natalia so I cannot take permission Natalia if you're watching this thanks for the recipe I'm already making it again step number one is to pan sear some chicken breast in a pan <laughs> with avocado oil and you don't really have to season the chicken much because we're going to be adding pesto and that's going to be like the majority of the flavor. So I'm just going to do a little bit of salt and pepper and some garlic powder. Okay. 
While the chicken's cooking, I'm gonna cut up a Roma tomato. Once your chicken is cooked, we're gonna shred it up. So just grab two forks and start shredding it. Once you've shredded all the chicken, we're just gonna add it back on to the heat, which I just have set at like three and a half. And then you're gonna add in tomatoes, one small jar of pesto, and this is just traditional basil pesto. So just stir this all together so it looks like that, and then we're just gonna add in the zoodles. So this is just one container, it has 10 ounces. So about that for two chicken breasts, and then I used one whole tomato. I'm also gonna add some of this Parmesan cheese. I am a huge cheese girl, so I really like a good amount of cheese. I'm gonna try to not go too crazy like I normally would because I want this to still be a healthy meal. But you can also skip this step if you don't like cheese because I know some people are weird about cheese. I don't understand how a human being could not absolutely love cheese, but you know what? To each their own. So I just let it simmer for like five minutes with the lid on and scooped it in here, added a little bit more Parmesan cheese, and this is the final product. I swear it's so freaking good. Usually I'm not a big zucchini noodle girl because I feel like it just doesn't taste like a noodle, but with this particular dish, the pesto flavor just seasons everything so well that it honestly tastes like a real noodle. Well, I finished eating dinner and now I'm just sitting here watching the news. I don't know why I'm watching the news because all I'm hearing about is the awful events that took place at the Capitol. And I just can't believe it's real life. Like this is real life. It's so sickening and frightening. And they're like uncovering new videos from that whole attack and like sharing it and I just need to like turn the TV off because people are crazy and it's really sad and embarrassing. But I'm gonna end this vlog here because I wanna edit and get this up right away. And at 7 p.m. I actually have a meeting with Jess Hutchins. We're doing a Zoom call to just go over uh, my first week this past week and how everything went. Tomorrow is Monday. I will be at the gym in the morning starting my first workout for the week. So that's the plan. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.